hello to all uh, is Anna Kimani I'm back again for this month's video I do upload a full video once a month so I, I do try to upload at the beginning of the month or even at the end of the month or in the course of the month when I get time so I do upload a video full video once a month uh, looking at different topics on all around education uh, through my YouTube channel, which is Anna G. Kemani. Uh, this month, uh, I'll be looking into addressing um, a question or some questions that have been asked by a number of people and to be specific parents or guardians and these are the parents or guardians who either have already um, gone abroad or moved abroad and they have got young children uh, young people right from primary school secondary school who they need to enroll in school the young people or children that they need to enroll in a school either primary or secondary i've also been approached by parents and guardians uh, to be honest a number of them who are already in the country that they have moved to but their children are still back in their home country and they are planning to bring them over in order to join them or to join the rest of the family i've also been approached by several parents and guardians who are interested in moving to another country or in migrating to another country and they're still back in their home country and haven't moved yet but they need to know about what happened when it's come to their their children education when they move to those countries of their interest so i've got different categories of people approaching me asking me about uh, enrolling their children to school and especially in primary and secondary schools so i'll try my best and address that as much as i know so uh because i look i do look at different uh subtopics when it's come to all around education and especially after being requested to address that area i do it once a month because i'm quite busy so i do upload the full video once a month i would advise you to be subscribed to my youtube channel if you aren't yet subscribed and follow me as i look at different subtopics as i said i've got a lot that i need to share but I look at each video per month, one video per month. And finally, by God's grace, I'll get there. So be subscribed so that you can be able to follow me as I address different subtopics when it's come to all around education. And again, once you are subscribed, you can go back and watch all the other videos that I've uploaded when it's come to all around education. And addressing some very important areas when it's come to all around education so I said one video full video per month but when I get asked questions on an area that I had covered before I do go back and upload remix video just one minute video and then I write that video that I had recorded before and then give when it's come to the video description I give full link of that video that I had recorded before. So check out my YouTube channel and you'll benefit as parent, as guardian, or as a student at in level education. Um, check out my YouTube channel. If it says subscribed from the YouTube channel itself, I'll give it uh, on this YouTube video description. If it says subscribe that is it you don't need to do anything except maybe to hit the bell 
so that you can be getting notifications once I upload a video once a month or the remix video which are the short videos are directing you back to the main video so if they say subscribed when you visit my youtube channel itself or any of my videos you don't have to do anything else thank you for supporting my youtube channel by being subscribed hit the bell if you have not hit it as i have explained if it doesn't say subscribed then hit the subscribe button and make sure it says subscribed either from my youtube channel or from any of my videos I'm emphasizing on this because most people have been unsubscribing themselves when they keep hitting my YouTube channel or when they keep hitting every video that they go to. So when you keep hitting, you unsubscribe yourself. So when it says subscribed, you don't have to do anything else except hitting the bell for notifications once I upload the different videos. I felt necessary to revisit that and explain it to you all once again so today i did say i'm looking at addressing this question that have been asked by a number of parents and guardians who have either immigrated to other countries and they have got their young people there or they want to put them in school they are quite new in this country and they want to put their children in school or they have already migrated themselves and they want to bring over their children from who are still back in their home country or they are planning to migrate and they have got back in their mind that they have got children that they have to move with so uh it depends with which country that you're moving to different countries have got different criteria or criteria that they will follow when it's come to enroll to enrolling the children to school whether it is primary or high school or secondary or even A levels. Uh, so whether you're interested to going to North America or to South America or to Africa or to Asia or to Europe or to Oceania, whichever continent that you're interested in, uh, in moving to, the country within that continent, um, when you go there, or if you're already there you can look around you can check around where you can get the relevant information when it's come to enrolling your child or your children to school so i said we have got different categories uh, already in the country if you are a parent or a guardian and you're already in that country that you have immigrated to and you have come along with your children um, or I can also add up if you're in that country and you plan to bring your children who are still back in your country what could you do uh, the best thing is you visit maybe the local Ministry of Education within that country or the local council and seek from advice or more information on what you need to do for example i know here in the united kingdom because i'm talking to you from the united kingdom when it's come to primary schools uh they'll tell you to visit your local council and then uh, education office and then give at least three schools the local primary schools that you're interested in the primary school that are very close to where you're living okay because here they check the postcode they check the postcode of your home and the school that you're interested in taking your children because they emphasize on local schools so they ask you for three schools that you'll be interested in and then fill a form in order of your preference so check out about those schools that are close to you see the ones that you're very interested in and then put your application and put the schools in order of your preference and then when you return the form then the local council the education office will guide you and then tell you the school that your child will be placed in or will be enrolled in also visit those 
local primary school where you are visit the actual school themselves sit down with the head teacher or with whoever is in charge talk to them and they'll guide you i'm sure you'll get the relevant information that is if you're in that country and you've got your children and then if you're in that country and you're here to bring your children just visit the local schools and get the relevant information so by the time you're bringing them you know exactly what to do or you have got the best information and the relevant information on what to do because here if i'm using united kingdom you can check out other countries that you're interested in traveling to or you are already there in the uk they emphasize on local schools because you have to drop your child on time in school and you have to pick your child or your children on time readiness is not tolerated here in the united kingdom so that's why it is necessary to be in the local school or the school may be that you'll be able to drop your kid on time or pick your child on time from school uh, again depending on when you start work and when the school starts in the morning or when the school finish in the afternoon you can check whether the schools have got breakfast club where you drop your child early on time and then you leave them in the breakfast club and then the people in charge of the breakfast club will take them to school for you whether within the school or somewhere or call. the same when it comes to picking the kids if you finish your work rate later than when the schools finish then you can ask for after school club where people who are uh, safeguard who have gone through safeguarding because child protection and safeguarding is very very important in the uk and i believe in any other country people were affected and passed safeguarding so you can check out whether that school has got people that are after school club or local people who pick the kids from school and then you can pick them from that facility so breakfast club after school club if you're not able to drop your child or your children on time in the morning or to pick them on time after school because dropping the kids on time is very important and picking them on time because when it's come to united kingdom the child being in school on time is very important and being picked from school is very important and any other country so i've already addressed uh, maybe those uh who have got the children with them in that country already or they're already in that country and planning to bring the kids and something else i, I wanted to comment or maybe i don't know whether to comment it but i can comment it here uh, in the united kingdom the children are enrolled in school according to age because i've been asked by a few guard parent guardians who want to bring their children in the united kingdom because they're already here or they're here they want to bring their children over whether they can request for their children to repeat class i don't think that is available the child is put to class according to the age i've seen parents whose children have come over from other countries to the uk and when they were back in their country they were in primary school but when they come in the united kingdom they have to go to secondary school i had such a parent whose daughter was in primary school back in the home country but when she came to the united kingdom she was put in the secondary school in year nine that is the third year in secondary school and she was quite worried and i told her that's a procedure when it's come to enrolling children in schools in this country she has to go to the class according to her age but then i told her uh do not be so worried what you need to do is the school that she gets into just visit the school express your concern and ask the school how your daughter can get further support in settling in school and also i i advised her and many other parents actually 
uh, devised her I'm just using this case because the others I devised her as a school to give you some materials that you can work with your child back at home support your child father back at home and I also told her some of the bookshops she could visit and buy some books and support her child and I'm telling you that parent was really, really, really committed into it because I remember her calling me when she was in the bookshop and she's asking me, is video calls, she's asking me, is this the right book, is this the right book? And I told her, have you spoken to the school as well? And then I'm guiding her and she bought those books and she worked alongside her daughter. And although her daughter coming from home country was in primary school, they had not done some of the subjects especially sciences when it's come to visit chemistry biology in details and now she's coming to year nine still her daughter really did well really exceptionally well because when she did her gcse i think when it's come to chemistry she got a grade eight she got a grade eight and grade nine is the best so she got the next one which is grade eight and that is equivalent to an Easter. So she did really quite well. She did very well in the other subject because especially if you're moving with your child to a country where she has got the language. Because this girl, the good thing is, she was coming from a country that is very fluent when it's come to English in speaking and in writing it, both in reading and writing. So when she came over to the UK because it's English, uh, she had the language, she did write quite well because all she needed to do was being boosted with the right materials, being supported, and then she picked very quickly even in the sciences. Of course, she had maths, she had English back in the country, but when it comes to sciences, she did quite well. And also in maths, she had come from primary, she came to secondary school. She really settled well. I had an, another parent asking me, she's planning to bring her children from another country back in primary school and she was so worried and I told her no when you bring them over they'll be put in the class according to their age if she's four years she'll be put in nursery if she's three years she'll be put in pre-group some schools start even pre-group at two years so if she's five she has to go to reception if she's under Seven years, she has to go to key stage one. If she is eleven, if she is uh, nine, um, eight, nine, ten, she has to go to key stage two in primary school. And then, if she is above eleven years, she has to go to secondary school. And uh, and I, this her kids as according to the age she, the ages she gave me, they will definitely go to primary school. And I explained to her just what I have explained to you. Visit the local school, your local school that you're interested in. Visit the local council, edu education council, education office, and they'll guide you. They'll give you further advice. I, I've just given an example using United Kingdom because that's where I am. So, if you're not coming to the United Kingdom, then, and mainly, especially England and Wales, United Kingdom, I mean United Kingdom, England and Wales, if that's not where you're coming, in which I've given an example from, then any other country, please do further research. If in that country, then visit the relevant local education offices. Visit the local schools or the schools that you're interested in enrolling your children and you get further advice. It's good to be uh, quite... Um, active in getting all this information so that wherever you are putting your children you are, you are putting where where you want them to be or in the best schools or enrolling them in the best schools that are most convenient to you okay when it's come to united kingdom when it's the prime i mean secondary school uh the same happens you'll be given a list uh, of the schools, the local school that you are interested in, where the kids can walk to school or catch the bus or tram or train 
conveniently. In other words, where they can commute conf conveniently without struggling. And then you're going to put the name of the school according to your preference. And then depending on the, the school that your child gets into. There are also other government independent schools. We call them grammar schools. In those schools, kids can be admitted from very far. Although at the moment they are looking at the local when it's come to postcode, how far a kid is traveling from to school. In, in those in the government independent schools and grammar schools, kids can come from anywhere. So you need to know if you're interested in a child going there, there's a test that they have to pass. They are quite competitive. So as a child is enrolling for that test in that school, they're quite competitive. Well done. When a child gets an opportunity to join that school, at the same time, you need to think about how they'll be traveling or commuting to school. Because when it's come to the child being on, in school on time or leaving the school on time, uh, that is quite important when it's come to United Kingdom. And I say, I say especially when it's come to England and Wales, but also check any other country that you're interested in bringing your kid to or to travel with your child to and you want to enroll them in school. Hopefully that is important. It also applies to A levels when it's come to kids at five. The kids can stay in the same school that they can come back in the same school that they were they enrolled in secondary school for key stage three, uh, lower school, secondary school, or key stage five, the upper secondary school, they can come back to that school for their A-levels, which is key stage five, the same school, or they can go to a different school or to college, depending in what you and your child or your children or as a family you are interested in. Hopefully that is important and especially to those parents who are already in that country of your interest and you have got your children with you or you're already in that country and you plan to bring your children there. So I know I've used United Kingdom as an example and especially England and Wales. However, it depends with where you are. So look for the most convenient school according to your preference, but remember the attendance of your child to school is very important. And I've said in the UK, it's taken really seriously. The attendance, when your child report to school, when you pick your child from school, and your child being school, and your child being in school every day during the school term, when the schools are opened. So bear in mind in that, it's something that is taken very seriously and it comes under safeguarding the children. So you don't need to take that very seriously. It's not, it's not a joke when it's come to United Kingdom. It's really, really serious. And I believe it will be the same in any other country because when it's come to education, every young person needs to get the best doesn't matter whichever country they are in or which continent they are in, the young people need to get the best. Right from primary school, secondary school, high school, A levels, college, all the way to university. Visit my YouTube channel and check out for, there's a video that I've recorded on an outstanding secondary school and an outstanding primary school. I'll put the link of them under this video description. When it's come to university, there's another video that I've said, if you're interested in studying abroad, I've spoken about it when it's come to university. And I've also said about when it's come to universities, and this, by the way, I'm not being paid by anybody, but I use an example of UK because I get a lot of questions and I did recommend Russell's group universities. You need to check out for that video. You will see it there. Uh, because these universities are based on research. Any degree is based on research. That means when you go to those universities, whichever degree you're doing is based on research. And then it broadens your horizon. If you want to further your studies, 
because you have researched broadly, then you can broaden your, your horizons when it comes to your career or even to further your studies. And I also spoke about um, uh, uh, when you want to apply for the statement for your um, um, home country qualifications and the country that you need to travel to, to study from, uh, check out that video. I did speak about UK. There could be other organizations that does that, the equivalence uh, statement of your qualifications. And I did mention UK NARIC where you can submit your university transcript if you want to do postgraduate post studies or any other qualifications you have got from back your country. You can apply through UK NARIC and you get a um, statement, a uh, written statement, give you, give, showing you the equivalence. This is what you got from back your home country and this is the equivalence when it's come to United Kingdom um, uh, education, when it's come qualifications. There could be other companies being the same. Do the same for any country that you're interested in traveling to. Check which organizations does the comparability that give you the equivalence of your home gain, home country gained qualifications and the country you're interested in to travel to. So by the time you are applying, you know what you're applying for. And again, most of these universities, especially abroad, they are quite expensive. And whether you're going to whichever university, you'll be paying the same amount of tuition fee. You'll be paying the same amount for your uh, living cost. So the best thing is to go for the best. Okay, so that's my opinion. Hopefully it's helpful. Check my YouTube channel. You'll get a lot of information when it comes to all that. Okay. If you have not yet traveled to that country that you know you are interested in or you plan to travel in the future, you are still back in your country, yourself and your kids, you have got young people, then do further research from within your own country. Visit uh, the home office of that country you are interested in traveling to. Visit that home office back there. Most countries have got home office, home office in your own country. The countries you're interested in traveling to, they have got home office or embassy. Visit there. Probably they have got the education office and they should have. And then go and do further in, I mean, inquiries about it. Be informed. Get the relevant information. Uh, when it's come to, uh, I'll be specific here, when it's come to, I'll use United Kingdom, that's where, where I am, and let's say Kenya, there's a Kenya High Commission, their offices are in Westlands, visit there, you can go to the British Council, back, back in Kenya, do inquiries, and also, especially when it's come to the uh, universities, most UK, United Kingdom universities, send their delegates back in Kenya. Check when they are coming, mainly each year, every year. Check when they are coming, visit and sit down with them. Those professionals, those delegates that have been faced, um, um, sent there by the university to come. I'm using Kenya as an example. Go there, where they mainly, they come to study center, get to know when they are coming. British Council, go there. The education offices in West in, in uh, Westlands, go there. Whichever country you're at, I just used Kenya and UK. Whichever country you're interested in traveling to, whichever country you are based in, this world is big enough. So do the due diligence, inquiries, research, and get the necessary information. What about the website of that country that you're interested in visiting or if it is high institution of running, that university you're interested in traveling to to study from? Do your due, I mean, research. Again, uh, the university that you get, although I mentioned the Russell's Group University, uh, universities, you can go with them, but any other university, if you get an university that is giving you full scholarship 
or grant or studentship or apprenticeship, go for it. You have to balance. You have to check what works best for you. For me, I want the best for you. As a parent or guardian, for me, I want the best for the young people. Like from primary, Rose primary school, junior secondary school, all the way to secondary school, A levels, high school, university. For me, I want the best for every child across the whole world. So as a, as a parent or as a guardian, or as a young person, if maybe you want to join university, uh, do good uh, research. Be proactive and make sure that you're getting the necessary information, the relevant information, and you're going for the best. And I wish you all the best. Uh, so hopefully I have managed to answer your questions. I've tried to um, answer it from primary school, secondary school, A-levels, college, university, depending on the education curriculum that the country that you're interested in traveling to are offering. So listen to this video again. If there's something that I have not mentioned uh, that you feel that I should address, uh, uh, let me know. And then I'll come back and address it again. Again, uh, share this video with other people. Let them benefit from it. And again, remember, if you have got any other queries out of what I was uh, looking at today, today I was looking at parents, guardians, who've, who have got young people, uh, like primary or the university, and they want to enroll them in the school that they already migrated to, in a school in the country that they have already migrated to or moved to, or maybe they are planning to move to a country. That's the, the main thing I was addressing today. So if you have got any other topic that you don't want me to address, please get uh, in touch with me. Through my uh, YouTube channel, you can comment. Uh, my YouTube channel is Anna GK Money. You can comment on there. And then you can also get to me through my website. On my website, there is a chat box. And then on that chat box, let me know which other area you'd want me to address. My website is anajikemanipublications.com. So you can reach me through there. You can drop me an email. My email is akemanipublications at gmail.com. Drop me an email and I address that. Most of you have reached to me through an email. My email again is akemanipublications at gmail.com. My website is anajikemanipublications.com. <laughs> My website is anajikemanipublications.com. There's a chat box there. You can reach me there. Uh, you can reach me through there. My email is akemanipublications at gmail.com. Okay. I have got a, a Facebook page which is Excellence in Education Progress. You can also chat me there. Uh, let me know. Uh, and then I'll get to you. Yes. When I get it, I do try. I'll try my best. So remember, I do upload one video once a month, either at the start of the month or at the end of the month or in between, addressing a topic on a question that I've been asked or that I feel is necessary to share with you all. Okay. And I also do a pro remix videos, uh, addressing especially a question. If I really someone has asked something that I've covered, I go back and do a remix on that video and then share it with you. And then under that short video, remix video, I put the full link of the video that I recorded before. Okay. I know today there was a bit of repeating myself, but I did that to make sure you understand me. If there's anything else that is left out or you didn't understand, uh, get, in, get in touch with me through the various links or channels that I've given you. Thank you for your time. 
and wishing every parent every guardian the young adults who want to migrate from their home country to other countries and they want to settle well when it's come to school or when it's come to uh, education or joining school in that new country i wish you the best and looking forward into meeting you in the next video and it's goodbye for now don't forget to like my videos to comment to share with other people and to make sure that it says subscribed when it's come when you visit my youtube channel itself or any of my videos if it says subscribed do not hit the subscribe button again because you are unsubscribe yourself as long as it says subscribe that is it you can hit the bell so that you can be getting notifications once I upload a new video. I'm emphasizing on this because most of you are unsubscribing yourself and then ask me what's going on. It's because you keep pressing it, the subscribe button. If it says subscribe, don't touch it again. It doesn't say subscribe either from my YouTube channel or from any of the videos. Just hit the subscribe button once. And that is it. And then hit the bell. So that once I upload a new video, looking at different subtopic, when it's come to around, around education, then you'll get notification that I've uploaded a new video. If I do a remix, as I said, or short video, you'll get a notification telling you that I've uploaded a new video. I really appreciate your time and big breath and looking forward into the next video in the next month. Goodbye for now.